people who are in prison, I always use, I sometimes use the prison analogy, and someone comes along and gives you better food in the prison system and uh, gives you a more comfortable cell that you are used to, and they eliminate the insects and the, the, the rats, the roaches, and uh, the, the bed bugs, if they're in there, if they're biting you and whatnot. And so the people that run the prison, they come around and they remove these things from your cell. That is an improvement. That is indeed better than it was before. If you had a draft cell, I mean, uh, that's, you know, that's very dark. I mean, you can't see your hand before your face and all like that. You can't read anything if you're given books and whatnot. So they come in and they put in better lighting. And uh, you had, you might not have had enough heat in the wintertime. So they put in a heating system where now you're more comfortable in there. Or uh, in the summertime when you were sweltering and whatnot in there and you felt like you were in an oven all the time. So someone came in and they put in a cooling system and made the temperature so that you would be comfortable when you're sleeping or doing whatever you're doing there. I mean, that is an improvement. So I liken it to the racism itself to like a person being in a prison cell. So you can improve conditions in a prison cell. But you should all keep, also keep in mind, and I think that the president did this indirectly because he said we still had a long way to go. What's the long way to go if you're in a prison cell? It's to get out of that prison cell. And in fact, it's to eliminate the prison itself and the reason for the prison, because now you have a society where you don't have to have a prison, because everybody's on the same page. Everybody's interacting with each other in a manner that makes sense, in a manner that is always constructive. Now, that is the goal, and that should be still the goal. Mm -hmm. Now, we can always acknowledge that things got a little better. I mean, you know you know, long on the back of the bus and whatnot. And uh, people don't call your names, I mean, at least every day, going up and down the street, get off the sidewalk because you're black, and let me by because I'm white. And uh, there there was a time when people actually have, had to do that. Mm -hmm. Take off your hat when you pass a white person and whatnot. And uh, look down at your shoes. You couldn't look a white person in the eye. That was considered insulting. Mm. They could look directly at you, mm -hmm. but you took off your hat and you looked down at your shoes and you said, yes, sir, and no, ma'am, at all times, because if you didn't, you're subject to be in serious trouble. I mean, that was, you know, the, the format then. Yes, sir. And you don't have to do that anymore. Okay. But we still have racism. It's not over until it's over. And just painting up the prison cell. It's not going to cut it. This is 2017. You should have eliminated this system a long time ago because the system never should have existed in the first place.